diversity, and I am both Muslim and queer gender non-conforming woman. I'm also a refugee who came to the United States for safety and to find refuge. But I came here to find hate and discrimination for every identity that I held and that I embodied. My body is discriminated against because of who I am as Muslim, refugee, gender, non-conforming woman. <laughs> Yesterday, while we were speaking just here, two individuals yelled, Muslims are the problem, arrest them all. A few days before that, someone yelled in my face, kill all Muslims. <laughs> Is that the country I seek asylum for? No. And last week, I and other queers were discriminated against by Governor Cuomo for boycotting companies that foster violence both in the States and in Palestine, such as G47, where the shooter himself worked there. My body is tired and my soul is bruised from all the discrimination that we have to endure. You see, fueling hate is not the remedy to hate itself. I stand before you to talk about intersectionalities. Our bodies are the battlefield of these discriminatories and dangerous rhetorics, whether it be Islamophobia, homophobia, or transphobia. As we stand here together in solidarity, grieving together and fighting for freedom for all queer bodies, for all immigrant communities, for all Muslim communities, and for Palestinian liberation, it is very important for us not to treat hate with more hate. It is very important for us not to treat hate with more hate, but that we tackle the root systematic problem. The real problem is that until this day in this country, queer blood is not accepted for donations to the wounded in Orlando. The real problem is that in this country, guns are dangerously accessible and that the culture of gun violence is fostered. The real problem is that we have systematic discriminatory policies against Muslims like myself. And this is the most important point. The real problem is Islamophobia that shifts and steals focus away from what and who we should focus on. Today is about hate and discrimination. Today is about people of color and particularly about trans people of color. Thank you so much. Ramadan because I will be breaking fast right here with all of you in a few minutes. Thank you so much.